The DARPA Robotics Challenge Finals kick off today in Pomona, California, with 24 teams from around the world competing for $3.5 million in prizes. Some of the best and brightest of the world's robotics teams have come together to compete in an obstacle course that simulates the disaster conditions found at the Fukushima nuclear plant after the tsunami in 2011. With these, they will test both the hardware and software of these prototypes and start the invasion of the machines. This is pretty crazy. Uh, the prices are pretty incredible. $2 million for the first prize, $1 million for the second place, half a million for the third place. This gets a lot of people motivated. There's teams from all around the world. Uh, we had two teams from the USA, one from UCLA, one from the NASA. And they have to do something really cool. Let me tell you really quickly what they do. In one hour, they have to complete several tasks, like driving a vehicle, exit the vehicle, open a door, enter a building, locate and close a valve, cut through a wall, surprise task, remove rubble, navigate terrain, and climb stairs. And all of these are actual tasks that the rescue teams had to deliver or, or perform during the Fukushima disaster. And what they're saying is that if we had these robots at the time, this could have been less of a disaster. I have a quote from Jill Pratt, the force behind DARPA, and he said, if rescue operators have had robots that could have been quickly deployed to, to the radiation-soaked plant before the explosions occurred, that particular disaster could have had a lead put on it so that it would not have been nearly as bad. So, very positive intentions. A lot but of you out there might be a little bit of scare <laughs> that this is the beginning of the end. Well, I don't, I don't necessarily feel afraid of this. It does take me back a bit. You know, we have these robots exiting vehicles, um, dismantling bombs, cutting through walls, driving cars. We need to have a stopping point for this. Let me tell you why. You know, we already have unmanned aircrafts, you know, flying overhead, unmanned drones. We're going to get into a territory where we see unmanned wars. Um, these machines will have the capability, if they don't already, of starting and completing wars without us. Some say that's good. I personally think that that's really atrocious. I would hate to see that happen. And while it's interesting, it does scare the heck out of me. I wish that they would have a, a limit. Um, yeah, limit. That's a, that's, a, <laughs> that's a good notion. But I think you bring a very important point, the yin and yang of technology. On one end, we do have a very real positive outcome of this technology. Maybe in the future that there will be more nuclear disasters, the, the, you know. Then we'll have these machines that will prevent them from being huge disasters. But every machine can just, with a flip of a switch, turn from disaster response to attacking mode. And we're getting into an area where there's no legal regulation. I mean, this is free. This is the Wild West, it in is. my opinion. And not only that, DARPA, they're doing experimental things with neurotechnologies, brain implants. Um, I wouldn't surprise me a bit if they somehow got to a place where they could build something that, that had human emotion, human characteristics. Learning capabilities. There you go. I think that's the, the scary part is when we integrate all of these machine learning based knowledge into these very capable robots. We cover here in the leaves those tiny robots that actually have thousand more uh, power than their size. The reality is that DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, their business is to develop this emerging and way into the future technology, foreseeing or maybe announcing technologies that have been in development for many, many years and they're just being revealed to the public. Let us know what you think. Is this good? Is this bad? You want to see more robots? Tell us what you think and please subscribe to the Leap TV too.